Let's grab a suggestion or two. Yes, do it. What do we got? What's that? Ooh. Side, side chicks. chicks. Have you ever been a side chick? Oh, hell yeah! It's the best! <laughs> oh, it's the best! Not anymore, because I love myself, but in the 20s? Oh, make me a side chick, bitch! Uh, I am mayonnaise. Make me a side chick. <laughs> make me a side chick. Take me for a ride in your Aston Martin when your wife is away. I had so much fun. <laughs> yes! You know what the problem is with people? They judge. Oh, you did this? You did that? Fuck you, I was a side chick. Yeah, I got out of my system when I was an asshole. I don't so know. So when I grow up to be a woman, I know what the fuck to look for. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I, when you said when you were a side chick in the 20s, I just went down a, <laughs> a completely different rabbit hole in my, like in my brain. Like after the Spanish flu? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you still have a mask on like... Yeah, I'll suck your dick through the mask. Don't worry about it. <laughs> like, no. Hey, do you want to go see a Chaplin film? Come on. Uh, you, you won't be silent in the movie. <laughs> being a side chick in the fucking... In the 20s? Gross. Come on. Ew. Great Depression side chick? That's... I'll suck your dick for a grape. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> for a grape? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Let's be real. I'll still do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If it's a right grape, okay. Listen, that's a good that's grape. Good. Is that organic? No. Oh, is it purple or is it green? <laughs> <laughs> is it seedless? Uh, this won't be seedless at all. <laughs> oh, too much. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I missed you so I missed much. you. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> what else we got? What other suggestions? Quarantine hobbies. Quarantine hobbies. Did you did you pick up like like uh, my wife and I like after we saw Queen's Gambit we like bought a chess board. <laughs> we were one of those idiots that were like I think we're chess people now. <laughs> we haven't done it our entire lives. I taught my wife how to play chess and it like like lasted for like a couple weeks and that was it. <laughs> but like literally they were running out of chess boards everywhere after Queen's Gambit because so many dumb white people were like, I think I like chess now. <laughs> this sounds cool. You know what I mean? Like it's intellectual and like there's a Netflix series about it. Let's get into it. What do you think? I did that. I bought a chess board. I just use it for my drinks though. I just use it as like a coaster. I was like, I'll put my drink right there and my remote control and my vibrator. Queen's Gambit, bitch. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready for Tiger King 2. <laughs> Ciroc to L9. Okay, here we go. Is that kind of a nine? What's that? Is that an olive? I didn't put that there. Whose <laughs> olive is this? <laughs> oh, what else we got? That's it. Museums. New Yorkers. New Yorkers are the fucking best. Are they? They are, because they're the worst. <laughs> no, they're the best. I lived in New York City for like 11 years, and everyone's on a grind. Everyone's on a grind. It's just a different vibe. People say fuck you to your face, and you're like, good morning. You step over homeless people, and it's not that big of a deal. Um, you, you, it's just, it's a great place to live in your 20s, I think, as a chick. Like, I had so much fun running around that city and just hoping I wasn't pregnant or had venereal diseases. I, I tossed a kitty around that whole city. And God bless. Not one pregnancy, not one dirty cooch, you know? Thank you. Thank you, Sons of Anarchy. He's definitely been in jail. That was the guy. Oh, that? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, armed robbery. Yep, for sure. That's hot. Yep. That's hot. Good for you. This is a new porno right here, for sure. It's happening. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Where'd, where'd Yellowstone go? Where'd that guy go? The one with the full beard. Mm. I don't know. Rip Wheeler? I'm just yelling out my own suggestions. <laughs> yeah, the ones that you want. Do you want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Airplane out of here. Airplane you know what? etiquette? You know what? You know what? You know what? Do you want to hear? You we know we what? fly as part of our living, so like we have specific etiquette. No more feet out on a fucking airplane. Put your feet inside the shoe. No more feet out on a fucking airplane.
Dwayne, you gotta stop canceling comedians and start canceling bitches who put their feet between the seat. No more clipping your toenails on an airplane. Oh. Don't, okay, spirit air. <laughs> Fingered all, all of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the people who, who are breeders. No more motherfucking babies on an airplane. Tell your mother-in-law to take a van to Utah. I do condone sex in the bathroom. If you're at sex and uh, you've been in the Mile High Club. I liked you stumbling through that question. <laughs> because I locked eyes with you and then I got nervous. <laughs> I was like, I'm not... <laughs> I said, have you ever... Uh, she's looking at me. Uh, I should have looked away when I asked the question. I lost all confidence when you looked at me like, Jeremiah, are you really about to ask me this question? I'm like, uh, never mind. Uh, 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 anyway, uh, what do you got? I focused on your flamingos when you asked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think airplane etiquette is something that really needs to be taken into consideration. There's a lot of people who have taken some, you know, what do they call that? Like, um, liberties. yeah. And you can really tell someone's entitlement by how they fly. And I think here's 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 my idea. You guys tell me if, if it's too far. You remember guillotines? Well, you, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't. They they usually were she run. Is, she said she she is from the twenties. So. <laughs> Thank you. They usually were run by men who looked like our photographer right here. They were ran by men who looked like him. I think they should be in between the seats, and every time a bitch puts her ill pedicured foot, ka ka ka, you chop that shit off. You you've had this happen multiple times. Yeah, in, in first class. Well, Thank you. This is real life. <laughs> but wait, when that happens, what do you say? Elbow that bitch. I don't say anything. I fucking just... pull a fucking ka ka. I WWE this. Ba, 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 ba. This is me when when a kid is kicking my seat or something. I oh. like I get a little bit scary because I'm like a nice guy for the most part, but every once in a while I have flare ups, you know. <laughs> what, what, like like the shingles. I, I have yeah. I, I get I get rage flare ups as a nice get, guy every get, once in a while. You get rage shingles. Yeah, I get rage shingles. So if somebody's like kicking my seat or or if they open like my window behind me or something like that, yes. I turn around and I go, "This ain't happening." <laughs> And then I look at the parent and I go, you need to control your kid right now. Because I'm about to go to sleep and I don't want to be woken up at all. It's a 20, 30 minute flight. <laughs> I'm going from LA to San Francisco. <laughs> and I need my goddamn sleep. This I'm low my... on iron and your kid's a cunt. <laughs> Jesse Maypalooza, everybody. Yeah.